Welcome back to the channel, it's Yana Gaming, and we're back with yet another video. So in today's video, we kind of had a little turn of events. Um, we actually claimed a rat hole, the legit rat hole, one of the better rat holes on the center. This is a pretty OP rat hole in my opinion. But then later on, some unfortunate things happen, like I lose my character, and then we also get raided. So it's it's one heck of a day on ARC for today. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy. We're going to get to building this, and... Yeah, subscribe if you're new and make sure to like the video. So we were able to uh, keep some of the stuff and make some turrets. I didn't take everything, so we're going to start placing some of these turrets down and get this base all set up. Thankfully, they did leave uh, some things and the fob that I did have in the last video, if you guys watched that. If not, go check it out. It's a pretty good video. Uh, we fobbed up. We got a little bit of a raid to get us started. It kind of help us get started with this. So we ended up getting the industrial forge, so now it was time to place this. I was going to place it back in this corner, and hopefully it does not stick on the top. I will have to check in a minute, but I'm pretty sure I've placed them here before, and it doesn't stick out of the uh, top. This is a really hidden uh, center rat hole, and it's honestly really OP if you bet it right. We found this really cool and pretty high level stego which is kind of up on the cliff so we're going to get this knocked out and tame it up and get our line started hopefully and uh, yeah it kind of knocked us off so we have to run back up to get our tranid on but we're going to get this knocked out real quick. So as we're shooting this there is you know it just kind of ended up getting stuck between two trees and then we got attacked by bugs but there is you know wasn't the smartest so you know it was a pretty easy tame because you know it just chilled there till it was ready to run and then you just had to shoot it a few more times so pretty simple with there is you know probably the easiest there is you know tame that I've ever done because usually they'll either break the tree or they'll all smart and get around somehow and they are vicious with those claws. We ended up finding this really weird cliffside base. It was so weird because there was no turrets and it was just kind of hidden in the cliff. So we're going to blow in and surprisingly we do get some decent things out of it. Not too insane, but they had some rexes and stuff up top which kind of gave it away. I don't know why they didn't have any turrets or anything on a 20 times server like this. But, you know, they had plenty of ARB and I was definitely happy with that because... It helps out a lot with the base, and they had a Therizina, which we can now breed with ours. Got some Cryopods, which is nice. They had okay flak, but you know it was damage. I wasn't going to take that. They had a primitive shotgun, which makes no sense because you can possibly get shotguns out of a drop. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what they were new. I think they were doing. I think they were kind of a little bit of a bob at the server, but you know, it was a little bit of a raid, and yeah, they had a replicator somehow. So, interesting to me. Girl, it's that season. Uh, she wanna rock this all-wheel drive. We don't gotta put no 
Alright, so this is after the character loss and all that, and then we had to restart. So we're over here on Crystal Isles now, claiming a pretty, I know I kind of said unrateable location, but it's pretty insane. Like, it's not, nothing is unrateable and arc. Everything can be rated, but you know, it's pretty overpowered in my opinion, and it's a very good spot. So we're going to get built up in here, and yeah, it's pretty big rat hole for a solo player too, so we'll have plenty of room to breed and get everything that we'll ever need. And yeah, so... Hopefully you guys are excited about this rat hole. I know it's not on the center, but Crystal Isle is another good map for solos to uh, farm up, breed up, all that good stuff. And Crystal Wyverns are also amazing for a solo player. They're life changing. So we're going to get these forges uh, felt with, smelt with, holy English. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We're going to get some freaking metal in these forges. And yeah, we're going to get this smelted up, start getting some turrets up, get the ND forge. Kim Bench, I'm starting to lose my voice. I like the video because you know you want to. Join the Discord, join my server five times. You don't know Xbox, I'm still playing on it. Just kind of got a little slow right now, so we're switching it up. It's time to get this smithy placed, and then we're going to work on getting the fabricator placed as soon as we get this placed. We're going to craft that fabricator up, get it placed, and then working on getting the industrial forge and a couple turrets up just to be a little bit safer so somebody don't show up. We got a cliff plat place for down here. As you guys can tell, for a solo player, this rat hole is pretty roomy. So we're going to place this cliff plat and get our crafting station and everything moved down here just so we're ready. It's now time to get the generator placed and then we're going to craft a couple turrets. We're finally able to craft up our first few heavies to get them placed down and get a little bit of ammo in them just so our base is a little bit more defended.
Alright, so we pretty much got the crafting station done, so we got to pl like place a couple fabricators, but other than that, we're pretty much done with the crafting station. It came along okay, it's going to be switched around, I'm going to do multiple layers in this rat hole, but I wanted to kind of leave it open a little bit to breed. So we're going to give a little bit of a base tour real quick. So you come out here and we have a wall of turrets. Everything has about 600 bullets except for the ones downstairs, i got to put a little bit of ammo in them. I'm going to get turrets up on those hatch frames. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. So that's where we're going to end today's episode. Uh, if you are new around here, please subscribe, like the video, see if we can get 150 likes on the video. It really helps out and I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.